All right, first, before I start getting into this review, I got to tell you guys a little secret of mine. So season six, season six was the final season release at the time when I first started, wa started watching Archer. So in a way, there were six seasons out when I first started watching Archer. And if you know me, I was the guy that said, I don't know if Archer was really my show or something that I would be really interested in watching. And then I finally started watching it just to give it a shot. And it took me about a week until I actually got to this point. Seriously, this show, I could not stop watching it. It was awesome. And I absolutely enjoyed it. And season six is just another one of those breath of fresh air seasons that makes you want to continue watching the show. Now, I know TV shows for the longest time, like TV shows that would have more than 10 seasons, and you would just kind of cut out pieces like, like, um, like seasons like, yeah, this season is terrible, I usually just skip over that. I mean, every show has their ups and downs. Archer, on the other hand, is not one of those shows. It just keeps on going and it does not stop. It is awesome. Sorry, I had to put that, put that out there. So let's get on with the review. Archer Season 6. So Archer Season 6 is the continuing story of Archer and the Archer gang as they as they go through a bunch of shenanigans. Now they are finally working for the CIA. Although at this moment I'm not I'm thinking to myself, are they spies or are they just agents of the C CIA because they are working in the ISIS building now, but they don't call themselves ISIS, they don't bring up the ISIS name, they don't have the ISIS headquarters anymore. It's just the, you know, they're working in the office building. And quite honestly, the prank that Cheryl and Pam pull on on Mallory in the very beginning, okay, I'll bet that was good. That was awesome. <laughs> that was incredibly awesome. That was the only thing that I found funny in the very beginning in the very beginning of this season. The main main concern of mine is that this season took a couple episodes in to finally start going because I was still in the mind of Archer Vice. I wanted that storyline to continue on. And with the show to go back to its trade roots, I'm I'm sitting there thinking to myself, uh, oh, when a show does that, bring you back to what how the show started in the first place, is not always the smartest move. I mean, we all saw Rocky Five, and look how that turned out. I I still regret seeing it, but anyway, but anyway, um, it does eventually pick up. And another thing that is really exciting that keeps you watching is because Archer and Lana finally have a kid together. Yeah, the pregnancy that she had in in Archer Vice, it was because Archer was the surrogate father of her child, little baby Abigail. She's a little girl, so that was another interesting thing that I wanted to wanted to see expand. I wanted to see how good of a mother. Lana is and how good of a father Archer may be and knowing Archer you know for a fact that something's gonna go wrong every now and then but no there are several moments in the show where he proves to actually care about his own daughter especially in an episode where I kind of really don't like it was the one where Archer was babysitting little Abigail and Lana tells him not to drink and well you know Archer he takes a little shot but then but then an assassin comes by to kidnap Abigail, and Archer is freaking out. He is doing whatever he can to keep his daughter's safety. And then you finally see that ending show up, and I'm just thinking to myself, okay, that is hardcore cold. I mean, I know Archer it would have a shot every now and then, but still, though, would you really put that child in that much danger? Yeah, it's an episode that I would really skip by. Then the next episode, you have Archer escaping somewhere because, well, you know, that happened to him. And our, um, there's Ray, and there's Ray, Krieger, Pam, Cheryl, and was Cyril on the trip? I don't know if Cyril was on the trip. They go pick him up, and they are flying back, flying back to New York. But no, there is Area 51 to, to deal with. And as soon as that happened, I was like, finally, Archer is coming back to its really creative roots. And not only does the creative roots really start up in this episode, it continues on for the rest of the season. So I applaud this season for that. And another thing that happens in this season is that Lana and Archer finally get together once again. I mean, if you have a child together and you still actually love one another, it was bound to happen eventually. And so that happens, and you're enjoying all of that, and then, and then you come up with a bunch of other shenanigans to help them help them break up, and 
And yeah, you can kind of see where this is going. This is this is Archer we're talking about. It can go one way, and then it can just you know, plot threads its way to an to another storyline. That's how creative Archer really is, and I love the fact that they continue continue that on especially around season six when they're going back to the trade routes. Like I said before, I'm not a big fan of of TV shows or movies going back to how the story completely began, and it, I just find that absolutely frustrating. This show, however, just kind of, the, this season, however, just kind of tells me that there are more, there were more stories that they want to put in with them being agents. So I applaud the show for, for doing that. And another episode that I absolutely enjoy was the episode when they're in a when they're in a submarine. And this is not just any submarine that that goes in the water or anything. No, this is a shrinking submarine where they go to microscopic microscopic size and they put it in put it into a human being so that they so that they can take out a blood clot that is in this scientist's brain so that he doesn't so that he doesn't, you know, die. And the writing, the details, and everything that they talk about in the human body, especially how the human body works in these couple of episodes, every single doctor out there would say that is 100% correct. They would applaud Archer for having that writing in there. So I got to say, yeah, that is a great episode. It is a fun episode. It is also another episode where Ray gets paralyzed once again. I don't want to spoil the ending for you, but when the ending of the of of that that episode happened, guess where I was? I was on the ground. I was in tears, and I did not care if I was going to miss anything. I was laughing out of control. So, season six of Archer may be a major downgrade from Archer Vice, but it still comes back as a very strong season, and it's still a very hilarious season, and still makes me want to watch more of this show. So, I gotta say, Archer season six is most definitely classic. So, Archer season six, have you seen it? What did you think of it? If I missed any anything, comment them down below, and also... Uh, like, subscribe, share this video as much as possible so that my channel can finally expand to the point where YouTube gets frustrated that I'm not going anywhere. And I'll see you in the next video.